You might have watched Lautaro Martinez on the field a million times, but did you know some unknown things about him? Well, of course you didn't know the unknown things. What am I saying, silly Billy? Anyways, to begin with, Lautaro Martinez is an Argentino professional footballer who plays for the Inter Milan of the Series A in the Argentina national team. He plays the position of an attacker for the team. His professional football career began in his native country, with Racing Club, where he made his senior football club debut in 2015, but that is just a start. There's a lot to talk about him. Hey, so welcome back to another amazing video, my mans, or women's, I'm inclusive. Today, we're going to talk about 10 things you didn't know about Lataro Martinez. So, let's get started. Lataro Javier Martinez was born on August 22nd, 1997 in Bahia Blanca, Argentina, to Mario Martinez and Karina Vanessa Gutierrez, who named him Lataro Javier Martinez. He was reared as the second of his parents' three children, the oldest of which being his sister. And he grew up with his older brother Alan and his younger brother Hanna, both of which who were musicians. Lautaro is widely regarded as the future of Argentina national team, uh, following Messi's retirement. He's always begun playing as a central defender for the club, both for his club and for his nation, and he's now established himself as a deadly striker. Lautaro's father, Mario Martinez, was also a football player in his younger years, and he was affectionately known as Pelusa by his contemporaries. It was in the early 1970s that he was at the peak of his athletic abilities. A few years later, he was selected to play for the Argentine national team B. On the other hand, his football career was doomed due to a lack of funds and participation in his amateur football. It is his mother, Karina Vanessa Gutierrez, who is the sort of mother that sheds tears of joy when hearing her son's accomplishments in life. Whenever he contributes to his team's victory, I think he calls his mom first, and she always responds with tears in her eyes. I mean, I bet. I wouldn't know. I'm not, in, I'm not hiding in their bushes. Moreover, he has a younger brother named Alan, who's not very well known. However, his younger brother, Hanno, is pursuing a professional sports career as well. A remarkable basketball prodigy, he's already smashing records in his home country, and he's only 19. So we all know that Lataro is one of the most stylish and good-looking footballers in the world right now. And we know that many of his fans, especially the girls and one YouTube commentator, are interested in knowing some precise details about him. So if you're wondering how tall he is, this attacker's height and heft allow him to go about the field with ease. He stands at 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 79 kilograms. He began playing football in his hometown of Bahia Blanca for the local team Linieras when he was just 17. And he was outstanding at the under-17 level. He caught the attention of racing club's interim coach Fabio Radeli, who signed him a two-year deal. Lautaro was a member of the club for four years, and during those years he was courted by a number of European teams, including Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid, who would all try to recruit him, but none of them really worked out. Inter Milan signed the striker to a five-year contract in July 2018 for a reported sum of 22.7 million euros. He now plays as a central striker for the club, partnering Romelo Lukaku, and wears the number 10 shirt for the team. He stayed with the club for four successful seasons, representing them both in the league and the Copa Libertadores, and scoring 27 goals in 60 games during that period. He then relocated to Italy in 2018, joining Inter Milan, where he recently assisted the team in winning a Series A title, ending an 11-year trophy drought. He was represented in his native country at numerous young levels and competitions throughout his international career, including the 2017 Under-20 South American Youth Football Championship in Argentina, and the 2017 FIFA Under-20 World Cup in India. Whew. In 2018, he was called upon to make a cameo appearance for the senior national team. Imagine being so popular as a soccer player, oh, football player, sorry, <laughs> that you make movie star cameos. Yeah, in addition, he contributed to the senior team's third-place performance in the 2019 Copa America in Brazil. Lautaro Martinez, who joined the team in 2018, received a substantial sum of money as the monthly payment. Besides being handsome and skillful, Lautaro Martinez, who loves saying that name, is also making a good fortune playing football for his club and national team. He currently makes 4.2 million euros a year on a salary of 81,000 a week. Type in the comment section below what you'd do with that kind of salary. Besides, he also makes a large sum of money through his numerous brand deals and his endorsements. And since he's still actually pretty young, there's no doubt that he's going to make millions in the futures as well. Futures? There's multiple futures, apparently. Woo! As for his net worth, several sources have provided varying estimates. Nonetheless, he enjoys spending his money on expensive cars and costly vacations. According to his latest figures, his current transfer market is worth $80 million. Oh, that's euros. My bad. Still the American. 
Recently, there have been rumors about his future with a new team other than Inter Milan, and while these are only rumors, we don't actually know what's going to transpire in the future. And if it happens, Lautaro Martinez is going to make a huge sum of money from this transfer, so let's see what happens. The club that was the first to see the potential of this young, talented player acted quickly to sign him. They spotted and quickly invited him to participate in a trial as a result. Unfortunately, he was turned down by the club. The club stated that the player lacked the power and the quickness, in the player's words. Because of this, he was unfit to represent the club. So he'd been dating Sol Perez in Argentina prior to his transfer to the Italian league and joining Inter Milan as a player. Their relationship deteriorated once he relocated to Italy, and it was said that she was pretty adamant about not moving to Italy after Inter Milan signed him. As a result, their relationship came to an end. Following his breakup with Sol Perez, Lautaro Martinez didn't spend any time falling in love with someone else again. He met Agustina Gandolfo. Oh, oh, oh man, Gandolfo? I don't make fun of people's names often, but I mean, I don't even have to make the joke. <laughs> a model who agreed to accompany him on his global tour and work for him. What began as a friendship eventually developed into a very loving partnership. So much so that the couple is now the parents of a child. We expect to hear some wedding bells ringing in their future. So it's speculated that the player is a Christian, as his homeland of Bahia Blanca is predominantly populated by Christians, most of whom are Catholics. There are, however, a few Protestant churches and a, and a synagogue in that area, which is a small number. Lastly, the birth of Lautaro Martinez occurred nine days before the death of Princess Diana. He was born on August 22nd of 1997, and Princess Diana died in a vehicle accident on August 31st, 1997, just a few days after he was born. Coincidence? I think not! And as a direct result, she passed away nine days after his mother gave birth to him. Unbelievable. Football players and, uh, and their love of tattoos is pretty well documented, and Lautaro Martinez is one of those players who are talented, good-looking, and obsessed with tattoos. He's so obsessed with tattoos that he visits tattoo parlors on a regular basis to get them. Moreover, his tattoos are a reflection of his upbringing and his family history. So these were the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Lautaro Martinez. Is he one of your favorite football players? Do you love watching him play on the field? Let us know in the comments section below. With that being said, that's all I got for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, giggled and shat maybe at least once. And um, yeah, don't forget to share it with your friends, like it and all that good stuff. Oh, and where are you going without pressing that subscribe button, my man or woman? Oh, you don't have to press it. It just gives us more inspiration to make amazing videos for you is all. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.